Hey, happy Saturday. Good morning. It is such a beautiful day. Oh my gosh. I just realized the blue coming in from my windshield makes me look like a smurf. <laughs> I'm not actually blue. It's the tent and the sun is like right there. So I, I just left an outdoor exercise class. Perfect weather, man. We started early. Perfect weather. I got my shady spot. I do not know why they insist on working out right in the sunshine. I'm like, no, nah, I'll be over here in the shade. Y'all are good. I can I can hear just fine over here in the shade. Y'all out there sweating, just dying. I'm happy over here in the shade. I don't know why y'all insist on standing right in the sun for an hour. It's an hour. It is a damn hour. And it's, um, well, every class is a little different. This class was a mix of cardio and uh, strength training. So it's, it was a really nice mix of the two for the entire hour. I really enjoyed it. And we didn't have to do any running, which always makes me happy. Not a big fan of running, especially when it's kind of, it's not super humid today, but on a sticky day, I do not want to run. I, I just don't. It makes me miserable. We did have to do the, the cross jacks where you cross your feet, you know, and the, the, mar, the arms out front, they're called mummy jacks or something. You have your arms straight out and you're doing like that. We had to do a lot of those. If, you, if you're a, a woman who's had kids, it's a good way, it's a good test for whether or not you need to pee. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, you do all the, the Kegel exercises you want to, it's still a good pee test. That's gross, Mary. You don't, you don't be gross. Yeah, I'm not. It's not. It's it's life. It's facts. It's nature. That's what happens. It may be gross, but you know what? Being being a, a living animal is gross sometimes. There are things about it that are gross. That's the first yard sale sign I have seen today. I have driven across town. That I've only seen one yard sale sign. That's crazy. Well, I know it's a holiday weekend, but a lot of people actually like to do yard sales on, um, you know, three-day weekends. We don't ever go anywhere for Memorial Day. We just stay here. You know, we don't really, we don't really. My kids and I really, we're all kind of the same. We don't do crowds. We don't really like crowds all that much. Oh, train tracks. Let's see what happens. La, 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 la. They hit different coming this way. If you go that way, it's not the same. I don't know why. La, la, la. It's different. They, they lay different over there for some reason. I've got to go to Walmart, the small mart, the little Walmart. I gotta get some Pepsis. I cannot find my Pepsi Zero Sugar in a two liter bottle. I've been to several Walmarts, nobody has them. They have the cherry flavor, but those are disgusting. I don't like I don't like the Pepsi Zero Sugar with cherry. It's just the I don't know. I guess I'll buy it if I can't find anything else. Diet Pepsi is from the devil. It's truly disgusting. I don't know. I, how, do, how do you drink Diet Pepsi? And it's a different product from the Zero Sugar Pepsi. Diet Pepsi is disgusting. Oh, no. I will just do without. You shouldn't drink soda. Let me follow you around for a day and I'll find 10 things that you do that I can say you shouldn't can't stand judgmental ass people. Now, I, I get that. I have a, I have a relative and I'm not naming names, but they, they will, they're very passive aggressive about it. They will casually just tag me in an article that they shared on Facebook. Mary, did you see this? I know you like your soda, but did you see this? I'm going to plant weeds on your grave when you die. I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, yes, I, I'm aware. Yeah, I'm going to die of cancer. I know. Oh, it causes that too, does it? Okay. I know. I know. Thank you. Thank you. I just didn't know if you knew about that. I sure as hell did. Thank you. Thank you. I like to look at it as preservatives. I, I, I am, I am in, I'm infusing my body with preservatives. <laughs> Look, it's my only vice, okay? I quit smoking. That was monumental. That was a big one for me. I smoked for 18 years. And I miss it sorely. I still miss it. I think I, I, I don't think it'll ever truly go away. I, 
and it's funny because every now and then I'll have a dream. I'll be in the middle of a dream and you know, it's always a different scenario, but I'll be in the middle of a dream and somebody will offer me a cigarette. I always take it every time. It's like my brain is testing to see if I've truly kicked the habit. It's like, no brain, I haven't. If you offer me a cigarette in a dream, I will take it and I will light it and I will smoke the whole thing. I just, that's, thank you. You got to borrow your lighter. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm smoking that cigarette every time. <clears throat> I never turn it down. So, yes, I miss smoking. I really do. If you've never been a smoker, I don't know. Just whatever your addiction is, just imagine never being able to do it ever again. It'll make you sad. It's sad, I know. It's sad. Even if it's good for you, it's still... Like, it leaves me sad. I'm just... no. Oh, I feel like I lost a friend, you know? Because I love to smoke. I really did. And I've told my kids, if I'm ever diagnosed with a terminal illness, like it's in... There's no cure. Before I say anything to you guys, I will be going to the corner Quick Mart to buy a pack of cigarettes and a lighter. And I'm going to stand out front of the Quick Mart like Beavis and Butthead, and I'm going to smoke a cigarette right there in front of the Quick Mart. I will cough and hack. I don't care. I will smoke the whole damn thing, and then I probably will try to smoke another one if the nicotine rush doesn't knock me out first. I'll end up sitting on the curb. I might buy a beer while I'm in there. Shit. <laughs> Who cares? getting drunk no, no I, I did see for real if I'm ever diagnosed with any with anything my next stop after the uh, the doctor's office will be at the, the quickie mart and I will be buying a pack of smokes I'm gonna buy a pack of Marlboro light 100s or whatever the hell they can't call them that anymore Marlboro gold or whatever they are I'll be buying a pack of Marlboro light 100s in a box and I will be getting a lighter and I'm gonna I'm gonna fire one of those bitches up yep why not? Can't hurt now. I'm going to enjoy it while I'm still here. So, yeah. What was I saying? Shit, I don't know. Yes. Yes. So, I have I have no vices left. I don't do drugs. I, I don't drink. You know? I mean, if I'm in a social situation, I'll have a drink or whatever. But I, I would not ride two on a mule to go anywhere to get an alcoholic beverage. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I don't smoke anymore. You know, let me have my damn diet soda. Let me have my drink. Don't lecture me. Don't don't shake a finger at me. I know I am a grown ass woman. I, and sometimes, you ever feel like your older relatives don't ever look at you as an adult? Like no matter how old you get, you're still you're still a kid to them, and they talk to you, you know, accordingly. Like you're eight years old forever. Uh, I have older relatives that I swear do not see me as a grown up. They just they don't. I'm like. Look, uncle, whoever, aunt, whoever, I am pushing 50. I, I think I qualify as an adult now. Why do you still talk to me like I'm in elementary school? I don't understand. I'm grown. I manage the reunion you come to every year. You're welcome. You know. Nah. Most of my relatives are awesome. They're not like that. But, you know, everybody has that one. That one judgmental relative or the one the, the, the one that for whatever reason if you see them somewhere it's like oh god yeah everybody's got that one while I was in this class just now um and I didn't even, I didn't really get hot or sweaty or anything but it was a hell of a, it was a really good workout it was damn near perfect the weather was perfect the workout was great I am in a good mood I am in a good mood I, ha I have all day to do whatever I want but while I was in the middle of this workout, I got an idea. I got an idea. Okay, so, you know, I did a video with Charity the other day. And uh, it was fun. I just wish my earring hadn't kept falling off. That was getting, that was really pissing me off. <laughs> um, but one thing I, I didn't like about the video was you could not see her dress. You couldn't see what she was wearing. And that dress is beautiful. I found it at Goodwill. I have no use for this dress. I will never wear it anywhere. But I thought it is a shame that y'all can't see this beautiful dress. It's gorgeous. It's this full length, beautiful gown. And I really wanted to be able to show it to you, to show it to everybody. I want, I want you to see this beautiful dress. And it's it's a, a smidge too big for me, but um, I've had it for quite a while. I bought it, um, God, six months ago at least. And when I bought it, I couldn't even zip it up. It was too small. And I 
I have, I, it's actually a little, it's not loose. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a smidge loose, not bad. You know, it's a few minor adjustments would make it fit, but it was, it was kind of cool to try it on and be able to get in it and zip it up with no problem. It was like, damn, look at that. I, when I bought this dress, I couldn't zip it up. I couldn't, it was too little. Cool. But I thought it would be fun. At first I thought, well, you know what you need to do? You need to put that dress back on and uh, get one of your kids to take a picture of you in the dress and put it on Instagram. You know, put it on Instagram or something so, so they can see the dress. So at first I thought, okay, I'll do that. And then I thought, I don't know, we could actually do more with it than that, perhaps. Maybe we could do a show and tell of the dress, like show it to you and, and you could see it up close. Not on me, like I will show it to you. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I, I might not have enough to do a whole video though. It would be kind of short, but I really want y'all to see this dress. It's gorgeous. It is a gorgeous dress. It's a little scratchy though. The, uh, the, the fabric has like this lacy stuff on it and this silver, uh, stuff on it and it's kind of scratchy like if your arm rubs on it it's kind of scratchy but it's it's very beautiful and I wanted to do I don't know I may just take a video uh, take a have my kids take a picture of me in this dress <clears throat> it's gorgeous I'd have to put the wig back on and I don't know if I would bother with the nails like I don't feel like going all out for it I just wanted to I, w I want you to see this dress it's so pretty um, before I send it off, I'm going to send it back to Goodwill because what the hell am I going to, what am I going to do with this dress? I certainly don't go anywhere to wear something like that. So, yeah, because in the video, all you can really see is like here up. You can't, it's, oh, it's pretty. It is so pretty. The bodice part is like this white mesh with boning in it. It's really cool. It's really cool. I really like it. So, I'm going to figure something out. i got to show you this dress. It's really pretty. I don't know. I might do a video. I might just take a couple of pictures. I might have my kid take a couple of pictures and put it on Instagram. or I don't know. I'll figure something out. So, I might turn it into a whole video. We'll just see how I feel when I get home. When I'm at the small mart, i got to go in and get some uh, Pepsis if they have them. I hope your day is going well. I, I really don't have anything else I have to do today so I'm enjoying I'm going to enjoy a nice day after this I'm gonna go home and get a shower I'm, I'm a little I'm a little sweaty we'll get a shower figure out what I'm gonna do so thank you so much for being here I really hope that you have a wonderful day wherever you are whatever you're doing and I will see you again soon